Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another wonderful episode of The Wonders of Science with Mr. Wyvern. This is episode 27, and in this episode, we're going to cover the question that was at the end of the previous video, which was, how many moons does Mars have? You ever wonder that? Has that ever come to mind? I mean, we think about our planet having one moon, and we know about that, but how many moons does Mars, one of our closest neighbors, have? And by closest, I mean relatively speaking. All right, anyway, we got the answer? Come on. Anybody? Watch your right? Come I'll go ahead and answer it then. The planet Mars actually has two moons orbiting it as one. These moons which are orbiting Mars were discovered in August of 1877. So technically, in some sense, we're actually celebrating the 144th, 144th year or 144th anniversary of their discovery, which is pretty cool to think that we have discovered those moons and it's almost been 150 years since that has happened, which is crazy to think about how much time has flown since then. Now another thing to note is the size of those moons which orbit Mars. They are actually quite small in comparison to our moon. In other words, if we put our moon side by side with these moons, you could see the quite the size comparison difference. Alright, let's get into our fun fact of the our fun science fact of the day. Glass, get this, glass, and it should clear up your understanding on glass. Glass is actually a liquid. It just flows very, very slowly. Now, in some sense, technically it's neither a liquid nor a solid. But explaining glass is actually a lot harder than you might think it is. And the reason why is because in glass, molecules actually still flow, but at a very low rate, that it's actually barely perceptible. In other words, you can't even notice it. Now, as such, it's not enough to classify glasses as a liquid, but neither as a solid. So instead, chemists prefer the categorization or to classify glass as what we call an amorphous solid which is a state somewhere between those of the two states of matter. In other words, an amorphous solid is in between a solid and a liquid. Pretty cool, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another wonderful episode of The Wonders of Science with Mr. Wybrew. Look for the question at the end. I do hope you've had a good time. Take care and have a nice day. Goodbye.